Hi guys, my voice is back for the most part. I'm still feeling a little, you know, not like 100%, but it's it's coming back and I don't sound as crazy anymore. So, uh, yeah, so this video is going to be me showing you what I got. Um, it's like a drugstore haul. That's what it is. That's probably what its name's going to be. It's a drugstore haul, but it's like from money I got from Christmas. Does that make sense? So I've had this stuff for a little bit, but I've tried to like keep it all out so I remember what I actually purchased so that I could show you. So we're just gonna sort of jump right in. I have a couple skin related things and then the rest of it is makeup. Stuff I got like really good deals after Christmas was over and then like things went on clearance. It was a good time. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got and we're just gonna, you know, get right into it. I'm really glad my voice is back. I'm glad that I can talk again. Thank goodness, because it was making me a little bit crazy. The first thing I got was this e.l.f. Get Glowing Highlight Set. I got this from Target when it was on clearance after Christmas had happened and they had like their leftovers. And basically, if I take it out of its package, it comes with this highlighting brush, which I've used a couple times and it's, it's good. I like the size of it and there's a taper and it's like flexible but not too flexible. Um, so I like that brush. It also comes with, I probably should have taken these off beforehand, maybe, maybe not. Um, it comes with this shimmering facial whip in the shade in the shade petal. So I mean that's really beautiful. I haven't used it, but I swatched it. It's a really pretty, like pearly light. It's like a light pink color. It doesn't look pink on your skin. It just sort of looks like glowing and healthy, which is nice. And then it comes with their highlighting palette, which just looks like their like like looks like their blush palettes or their contour palettes. And it looks like this. I've used. I think I've used all of these, like the, these three, not like this darker one, the darker one I couldn't use on my skin. Um, and it's good. They're a little bit powdery, but that doesn't really bother me and it doesn't look chunky when you put it on. It just sort of looks healthy and glowy. I want to say like a, a glowing from within glow. You can obviously make it look more intense if you like sort of layer it up, but for, I'm pretty sure like by itself it's $6. So for $6, it's really, really nice. It's really nice. So the next thing I got is also from e.l.f. It was one of the other sets that they had. And it's the Mad for Matte Lip Set. So it's a set of four of their matte lip colors. I feel like I'm yelling because I'm trying to like talk over me rustling, you know, boxes and plastic things. And it comes with four of them in the colors Praline, Rich Red, Berry Sorbet, and Wine. So I already have Praline. I was wearing it like... Mm. There was a group of three videos that I filmed, like not the last video that was up, but like the three before that, where I was wearing this color. It's sort of like a pinky brown um, nude color, a deeper, a deeper nude. And then you have Rich Red, which is a really um, classic bright red. And then we have Berry Sorbet, which is a berry. It's like a purpley, um, a purpley berry color. And then Wine, which is... Um, sort of a deeper red with like a hint of berry in it. I think I have pictures with like a, a bunch of these, so I'll like insert them somewhere. Somewhere around here, pictures probably already happened. But this is great. Individually, they're $3, so if you were interested in trying them, I highly recommend it. They are really creamy, easy to put on. They're in like a pencil form, so it's easy to like get around the lines of your lips. And I think there's they're a really good, they're a really good deal for the quality of product that you're getting. And they're so cheap, price-wise, which is amazing. Everything from, if you haven't tried anything from e.l.f., which I don't know where you've been, probably living under a rock, if you haven't tried anything from e.l.f. before, you really need to, like, go try some stuff because they have, they have really great, really great things for very, very cheap. All right, let's keep moving on because, what are we, four minutes in and I've done, like, two things? All right, next is the Revlon Colorstay Foundation. I got this in the Normal to Dry version and in the color porcelain which is the lightest one I'm pretty sure and I've used this once and I mean I like it I like the color match I think before I had I had one before but it was the combo oily and it was too dark of a color and it was when I was pregnant so my skin was weird so I got a new one in the other formula in the right color and it's good I think it's a pretty good color match it doesn't look like too dark or orange or weird on my skin so I've really been liking that I've only tried it a couple times, so I can't really vouch for like how much I like it, but I like it so far. The next thing I got is this Maybelline Color Tattoo. I got it in the shade, 
oh my goodness, what's it called? Something taupe. Toughest taupe. It's this taupe color. I put a picture up wearing it. I'll put a picture up. And yeah, it's pretty, it's like a medium. It's a little bit dark and just like a taupe color. It's pretty ashy. It's like a cooler taupe. I think it'd be really good as like a base for a really dark smoky eye. I think it would be really good for that, but a really nice color. I, I like it. The one time I used it, I've been liking it so far. All right. Let's speed this up. I got these Swispers mini blending sponges. They look sort of like the like Beauty Blender Micro Mini or like this Real Techniques Mini Miracle Eraser sponge. I feel like they might be a little bit smaller than this, but I don't know because I haven't um, I haven't used them yet. Like I just got these, and yeah. Oh my goodness. Why I always drop things. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I always drop stuff, like, I can't help it. But yeah, so they're just these little sponges. I think they, I got them from Walmart. They're only like two something, I think. And you get two of them, so I'm gonna have to try these out and see how I like them. I got, what else did I get? I got the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder in the shade 10 Porcelain. It looks like this, if you haven't seen it before. I haven't tried this yet. I literally just got it yesterday, along with those Swiss Wear sponges. Um, but I picked up the wrong shade before. I was at Ulta and I just grabbed the lightest one they had. And then I was like, as I was looking at it, I was looking at the color name and I was like, wait a second, Classic Ivory is definitely not the lightest color, which it wasn't. So I finally got the correct one. So I'm excited to try that out. A lot of people like it. So I'm glad that I finally got my hands on it. I'm trying to open this thing that I have in my hands. I got the e.l.f. Mad for Matte, right? That's what it's called. Um, eyeshadow palette. Again, if you haven't seen it, it just looks like this. I am excited to try this. A lot of people like this. And I've been sort of just at Target like and other stores that sell e.l.f. trying to find it. And for some reason, no one has it. I don't know why. But I found it yesterday at Walmart. This is what it looks like. They're all matte eyeshadows. I'm excited to try it out, but again, a lot of people like it, so I don't really think I'm going to be disappointed, but it's only 10 bucks. So if you have 10 bucks, there are some matte eyeshadows. The next thing I got were, were, oh, I keep saying that. The next thing I got was this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil um, in the color taupe. I think it's just taupe. Yeah. So it's basically one side the spoolie. One side's the pencil, it looks like this. Uh, it's a good pencil. I think it's a little bit, um, it's it's more creamy than like the Brow Wiz or the NYX Micro Brow. Um, not super creamy, but definitely more more creamy. And I think it's just a little bit too warm for me. I, I prefer a cooler, like a neutral cooler brow. Um, and I think this is kind of, a little bit too warm if I'm just like sparsely filling in hairs um, I think it's just a little too warm but it's only two dollars so like if you want to try it then I would recommend trying it it's two dollars you're not gonna spend an inordinate amount of money on it so that's always good I got the physicians formula shimmer strips in natural nude the one that looks like this first of all its packaging is super cute I don't think I realized that it looked like this on the outside sort of like this lacy uh, design, which is super cute. The window is plastic, so like if you're wondering, it is. But it basically looks like this. You can use them as eyeshadows or like as a highlight, which I, that's what I've been using it as, as a highlight, sort of combining these colors over here, obviously the lighter colors. Um, you can use deeper colors as eyeshadow. I've used it a couple times as a highlight. It's beautiful. I'm, I love it. I need to use it sort of as eyeshadows and see how they work. I'm sure they'll work wonderfully, but this is what I got. And it's super cute. And the other side also opens, which I didn't realize until I was like playing with it. And I heard something like rattling around. And I was confused. And then I realized that the other side opened. And it comes with um, this little like angled sponge tip. You can see it. There's like an angle to it, but it's kind of like pointy at the top. Like it's sort of stiff, um, a little bit pokey. I don't think I'm going to end up using that. And then it comes with uh, this little brush. Here, let me take it out. It, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be used as like a highlight brush. Again, I'm probably not going to use it, but if you were curious, it's there. Um, if you don't have a lot of brushes, this would definitely do in a pinch. So I'm excited to use that more. I've been thinking about getting it for a while, and then it was like after Christmas, and I was like, why not? It's time. It's the holidays, and I would like to try this now. So yeah, I got that. Um, 
Let's do brushes real fast. I got only Real Techniques brushes. I got this set. You might have seen this like in uh, Target or something, wherever they were selling them. Uh, again, I got this after... There's a little hair in here. I got them after Christmas, so it was on sale. So I got them for a really, really good deal. I actually already have these four brushes like elsewhere in my brush collection. The only one I didn't have is this giant stipple brush, um, which I feel like will be the one that I use the least. But it's good to have duplicates of these, especially this one, the um, Deluxe Crease Brush. I didn't think I was going to like this, and I love this. I've been using this for my crease color, and it's just been like, it's so, it's so big, but it's soft, and it just diffuses it and really like blurs the line of your crease color, which I really, really love. So I got those brushes. Also, it came with like the contour brush and the base shadow brush, which I already have, because I got this, like the eye I don't remember what it's called, Eye Essentials, something like that, the little eye set, um, which again comes with the deluxe crease brush and the base shadow brush, and also you get a little liner brush, a whatever this brush is called, I don't even think it's marked, um, but like this little like detail brush, and also this angled brush. So, yeah, oh, angled brush, there it is. So I'm excited to use them. Real Texas brushes are amazing, like I'm really great, I'm really great. I'm really glad I picked these up because... I've been using them since I got them. And I love them. All right. We're almost done. I feel, I feel like these videos always drag on because I just ramble. But too bad. If you watched any of them, you know they're long. So I hope you grabbed like a snack or something. I got two primers. I got the NYX Pore Filling Primer or the Pore Filler Primer. And then the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. Um, I think that the Pore Filler does a really great job of sort of like smoothing out my pores. I can still see them, but it's not anything... Um, ridiculous and I think it does minimize them a little bit and the blur and illuminate is great too I think it really just gives your face an overall nice glow so I've really been liking that the couple times I've used it my camera is gonna shut off in a second I can feel it where's my other memory card other memory card where are you oh I also forgot a brush I got another e.l.f. complexion brush. Really, really like this, but unfortunately mine is starting to, um, right here you can see it's starting to break. See, it's like wiggly. So I had to get a new one. I mean, it's fine. It's $4 and I really, really like e.l.f. brushes. So that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully it doesn't happen to this one too fast, but I did have this one for a while, so I call that, I'm calling that a win. The last things I have are skin-related things. First, I got this simple micellar cleansing water. Um, I've used it a couple times. I think I like it more to clean my face after it's already clean, if that makes sense, to get like any extra residue off. Um, Last night I did try to like take off my makeup and I feel like it was just taking way too long. So, but I like it to like cleanse my face after I've taken my makeup off to make sure that like everything is off and that my skin is very, very clean, if that makes sense. That's what I have liked using it for so far. I've only used it a couple times, but that is sort of how I see myself using it. I got two of the L'Oreal clay masks. I got the black one and the red one. Um... So, the, I'm trying to remember like which ones, what they're for. I mean, I know the, I'm like trying to remember. Uh, the red one is exfoliating, so like you put it on and then when you take it off, you like massage it into your skin. I used this last night, made my skin feel really soft and like really even and smooth, which was great. Um, the black one, I feel like I've heard people say that it's similar to the Origins Charcoal Mask. And I have the Origins Charcoal Mask. I have used it many times, and I feel like sometimes it irritates my skin. Like, I'll put it on, and then I'll take it off. My skin will be really red underneath, and that's not that's not great. This one doesn't do that. This one, I feel like, really makes my skin feel smooth after I take it off. So it's still, like, um, cleaning out your pores a little bit and, and everything like that. But when I take it off, my skin feels really nice and soft and it's not red or irritated like it gets sometimes with the Origins one. So that's nice. And the last thing I got is this e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. So it basically just has like this little cap. You press on this and that little hole right there, it sort of like comes out of there. Um, and you 
um, put it on your face and it's like clear and that sort of like foams up and you just let it sit there and then it gets bubbly and you feel it sort of like bubbling on your face and yeah and then you rinse it off it makes it says hydrating I wouldn't say my skin feels dry but my skin feels clean after I use this not like dry or like um tight or anything but it just feels clean which is really great so and it's from elf so it's not super super expensive um yeah so oh gotta go <coughs> yeah so that is I'm pretty sure everything that I have I feel like in my whatever the Christmas birthday haul video I kept forgetting things and then I had to like grab them and come back and grab them and come back but I think I got everything this time yeah so that's everything I had to share with you if you are new or haven't subscribed yet please subscribe I'll leave the button right over there like usual per usual and up there I will leave my latest video if you are interested you know please subscribe watch the videos all that all that stuff but I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you in my next one bye guys